I'm Vinicius. I'm head of business development at Bex Banking in Brazil. Uh, we are a foreign exchange platform dedicated to build cross-border payment rails worldwide for everybody that would like to uh, crack the Brazilian market with all sorts of uh, digital related operations. What we do is we combine payments, payment capabilities with foreign exchange banking services in order to, uh, by applying technology, API-based technology, bring a lot of fluidity to the way that payment, cross-border payments are uh, performed within the Brazilian market. Uh, so we've been serving marketplaces, we've been serving global PSPs, digital banks, exchanges that are located out of Brazil to support consumption uh, leverage and optimization for the Brazilian population together with all of those platforms. Curious about the fact that we have a lot of uh, banking as a service, digital banking uh, platforms that are uh, showing up uh, their cases here. Uh, we saw some interesting cases as well on alternative remittances, instant payments, also in the crypto industry. So I think the most trending uh, topics are related on how to optimize banking flows, how fintech can be more instant, can be optimal in terms of costs, and give access to all the people, all the companies to financial services. Here, uh, showing case by now pay later in Brazil, uh, we recently had uh, a product uh, launched with NuPay, which is a payment product from NuBank, which is the biggest Brazilian digital bank. And basically it reaches 52 million uh, account holders in Brazil. Uh, and yeah, uh, it's the first uh, initiative in Brazil to bring it on by now pay later capabilities out of the credit card ecosystem. So direct lending from bank accounts. I think those questions there are related. Uh, basically the, what we're trying to tackle with our technology and our financial services is uh, giving the possibility of worldwide merchants to operate in Brazil without having great exposure into currency volatility. Uh, Brazilian reais are pretty volatile currency in regards to strong currencies like euros, dollars or GBP. Uh, and our technology attached to our financial services enable all of those merchants and players to remove that exposure into their, their payment chain. Also. Uh, Latin America is well known for having like a high level of fraud and, and chargebacks in terms of payments. So we're bringing on new initiatives as uh, direct uh, uh, buy now pay later into wallets or uh, authenticated payment processes that would reduce or even like eliminate chargeback and fraud uh, risks within the transactional flow. Our business growth strategy is mainly uh, bring a lot of efficiency into the foreign exchange uh, element of cross-border payments uh, and also leverage our capabilities in terms of payment processing by being integrated with great payment providers in the region, right? So uh, in a local standpoint, we try to integrate best acquirers, best payment providers, the great greatest technology that we can find. In terms of foreign exchange, we try to, uh, to apply all the knowledge base that we've created within the past 10 years uh, on how to conduct foreign exchange in Brazil. And commercially speaking, basically we tend to partner up with global PSPs that can uh, take our solution into several markets at the same time. We were recently acquired by a fintech uh, from London called Iberi. Iberi is a global trade finance platform that is present in more than 10, 20 countries. It's also uh, invested by Santander Group. Uh, so uh, it was public one, one month ago that it was, uh, we were acquired by them and that should leverage a lot of capabilities in terms of reach, access to global accounts and also in terms of uh, how we can better use the infrastructure from Santander to payment processing.